Okay, yuk eich satini yohan, gunachi shatya ade. Good to see you all. Thank you for coming back. I'm going to go ahead and pull up our slides and we'll get started. <clears throat> So we have a lot to cover today. Today is week four, day three of our class, Friday, February 3rd. And we're excited to continue our cultural uh, discussions for these Friday sessions. Um, today, we'll continue talking about traditional Shinget foods. And so last week, we were able to talk about vitamins A, D, E and K. And so we'll continue that today with vitamins B and C. And then we'll cover calcium, iron, protein. So we do have a lot to cover today. Aksani Kik is a wealth of knowledge about um, vitamins and minerals found in Tlingit foods. So since we will be covering so much, um, if you do have questions along the way, we would ask that you write them down and we'll make space for you to ask those questions on Tuesday during our discussion in class. We might not have time to answer them today. So if you could just go ahead and, and write them down. And we'll go ahead and open up our notes from last Friday. Um, if you don't have them, go ahead and copy the links I'm about to share with you. <clears throat> so we have the Shinget Foods list which uh, Shaksani Kik has compiled and shared with us. I'm gonna paste it in the chat. And if you open it up, um, it'll look like this. So you click the link. Uh, what you'll be able to do is just view it. So if you wanna make an editable copy, go ahead and open it up. And then at the top of your document, there's a menu for file. So go ahead and click file, scroll down to make a copy and then um, title it as you would like and select make a copy. It'll open it up in a separate tab for you. And in the separate tab, you should be able to edit it and type as you like. So I would add your name in the title. And um, this will save on your Google Drive. Um, last week we did, so this one doesn't have notes added to it. Last week we did take notes on some of the vitamins. And so if you weren't able to come, I'll share my copy with you. And same thing, I'll copy the link, put it in the chat. And same thing, you can open it up, make a copy, and that way you have your own working list uh, with your own notes on it. So we'll be taking notes while Jacques-Sani Keek shares today. Are there any questions about um, getting your notes opened up. Okay. If not, uh, we'll go ahead and get started with Shaksani Kik. Yeah, uh, we went over some vitamins already, and it looks like uh, we absolutely do not lack any food with vitamin A because it seems to appear in, in a lot of the foods we eat. Um, I'll have to ask you to forgive me because uh, usually when I, I do this presentation, I have a lot of notes to look at, but now I can't look at anything. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to do it from memory. So if you want to uh, quickly, because we need to finish up on A, uh, some of the things we didn't talk about was um, where uh, where else it appears. And on the list, I, I think, do I have crabs? 
Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, Dungeness has a lot of a lot of uh, a and uh, no, uh, king crabs mm. has a lot of a. Dungeness also has a. Mm. Uh, clams and uh, I don't know what else I had. Uh, mussels, you have cockles, mussels, gumboots, shrimp. Do I have mushrooms? Um, mussels? Yeah, you have mussels. <laughs> uh, I don't have much experience with mussels, so uh, uh, gumboots. And those of you that eat uh, gumboots, you know what color it is, don't you? Kind of like orange. Orange, yeah. So you know what kind of vitamins it has in it. Once you peel off the skin that is very thin and uh, and the meat is, is very, very orange. So you know what kind of vitamins that has. Then let's go to the berries. I think we did a lot of the berries, but there was some that uh, that we didn't touch on. And uh, there's some uh, berries that we eat that are uh, are unusual. Uh, I think one of them is called. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I forget in English what it's called. Uh, oh, all the all the berries. Oh, it all the yeah. It doesn't grow here, but I know a secret place where it grows uh, down by Seward. We went down there, and my son saw. Hey, look! You know, here's all these, all these berries, and uh, those are really uh, an orange color, and mm -hmm. they don't have much taste and. And you can't eat it raw, it has to be cooked. So mm -hmm. the state warns people not to eat it because it's poisonous, but it's not because we eat it all the time. <laughs> if yeah. you cook it, make sure it's cooked. So mm -hmm. berries also is orange. Mm -hmm. And the other one is that's really important is cambium. Uh, it's the inside uh, of a of, uh, Alderwood uh, tree bark. And we used to go in a early April uh, to get a tree. And I think my dad would pick it out or, uh, in advance. So we'd get the tree. And, and uh, what he would do is score the bottom of the, of the tree with an axe and then uh, up and down up and down the uh, tree. So then my brothers would go and start pulling from the bottom and just peel, peel the bark away. And my mom would be sitting with her little ulu uh, to get that uh, cambium from, uh, my dad would kind of give her uh, a piece of bark that was shaped like a tray. Mm -hmm. and she would peel that into that and have a, another bark where she can start piling it. And it's bright orange, mm -hmm. carrot, exactly. And uh, so uh, we were all real busy. Um, my brothers would, would peel my dad would go around with his hatchet and, and uh, score it enough so that my brothers could peel till we finished peeling the whole tree. And our job as kids was to uh, drag, uh, drag it over and my dad would uh, chop it up into squares so my mom can handle it. And we would carry those over to her so she could uh, just stack it up and she would uh, take it and start uh, getting the cambium from the inside. And uh, it's very uh, juicy and it's sweet. So when uh, when we got really tired and uh, 
uh, need something to like to drink or uh, something sweet, we just grab a hand, uh, um, a small amount, and and eat chew on that while while we were working. Mm. So it's really great. And once you finish the tree, um, the tree can't live without out the bark. Mm. So we had to uh, chop down the tree and uh, clean it up, and then. Uh, take it to the beach and tow it home so it could have uh, uh, firewood. Mm. And, uh, but you don't get uh, a whole lot of, of cambium from a, a whole tree, maybe like a bowl full. Mm. And uh, my mom used to can those and, uh, because of its vitamin A. Uh, it didn't, I don't think it, it hurt anything. Mm. Uh, with uh, other berries, uh, soap berries also is uh, orange color. Mm. So it probably has, uh, even when you beat it up, it's, it keeps the same color. Uh, and uh, has a lot of, would have a lot of vitamin A. Mm. Uh, the liver we talk about is from the deer. I I think uh, the liver from seal has too much iron, mm -hmm. so it's probably not not that good for you. Mm -hmm. But any of the dark meats have that. So did you notice? Uh, nobody ever said what about this? What about that? Mm -hmm. uh, did we cover most everything that was on the list? Um, there's also black bear, moose, sea cucumber. Uh, sea cucumber, my brother said, was really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it looks like, and I never tasted one. But if somebody knows, uh, I can share. And uh, I put the moose on, on the list because of the people that are on the mainland, like Haynes and Yakutat and and Wrangell, they do get moose. We don't on the islands. They don't travel there. They're beginning to migrate down there to, to the islands, I heard. Okay, uh, so we, want, we finished that and I want to go to uh, the water soluble vitamin, which is B. And uh, the B vitamins, uh, there's uh, really many, they they made discovery after discovery after discovery to, to uh, find all the different B vitamins. And there, uh, each vitamin uh, B can be destroyed by uh, too much oxygen and uh, uh, losing the losing the water from from the source. So uh, uh, vitamin B. Uh, when you start looking at at the uh, vitamin in in the store, if you if you look at the complex of vitamin, uh, it's B one, B two, B three, B four, B five. B6, B7, B8, B9, and B12. <laughs> yeah. you, you have to have all of those vitamins. And what do they do? One, <clears throat> one of the main things <clears throat> I noticed was that it was responsible for uh, keeping our nerves healthy. That was one of the main things for one of those vitamins. And uh, I've talked to uh, some people as uh, some that say, oh, I put myself on a diet and I quit eating bread, cereal. And, uh, but I'm so nervous, I can't hardly keep still. And uh, that's what happens if you quit taking a vitamin B um, 
you'll, you will start getting shaky and nervous. So uh, uh, be careful uh, in planning a diet, uh, make sure that's one that, that is well established. Um, the, uh, the B vitamins are called uh, the helper, helper vitamins. Uh, it helps in so many different ways that I can't even go over them because if I took B1, B2, uh, all the way up to 12, uh, it would take the rest of the day. But um, I, I guess I want to point out that uh, the uh, helper, or I, I tend to call it the feel-good vitamins, uh, and it's, it really does, uh, is important for that source. Uh, if uh, you know somebody that really is an alcoholic and has, has problems with that, has probably destroyed much of the vitamin B in their bodies. And uh, I think uh, some doctors even advise alcoholics should take a vitamin B complex because it does uh, uh, refer to, mostly referred to as a helper vitamin. What does it do? It helps your, uh, it helps to protect your blood cells. It doesn't really do anything or to make it or to uh, develop it but it kind of keep helps to keep uh, things away that are not that good for your blood cells. Uh, it takes uh, uh, care of, uh, of the uh, the B complex uh, vitamins that are important to uh, your good health. That comes from a lot of foods. There's a lot of foods that have it. Fortunately, uh, I was kind of discouraged when I looked at it and I thought there's no way we could have had this, this vitamin that is so important uh, because uh, it comes mainly from, um, from vegetables, uh, no, from um, cereals and breads and flour and uh, those kind of kind of items that you're required to have in your body. So uh, these helper uh, vitamins uh, are continuously working and helping other uh, nutrients that are you're you're putting in your body by getting it to the right place. It's a uh, uh, it protects. Uh, certain uh, nutrients from being uh, having too much oxygen. Sometimes the oxygen can kill uh, some of the nutrients that you need for your body. So it's uh, uh, if you read up on uh, the B vitamins, you will notice it says uh, this vitamin helps. This vitamin helps. B2 helps, B3 helps, and they're helpers. They don't particularly do uh, a lot of uh, repair, but it does uh, keep busy uh, protecting you and make things, make sure things are working right. So if we don't have bread and, and cereal and all that, uh, how do, how do we get it? Because we eat so much fish and uh, things like that. But uh, uh, I think if you look on your list, uh, I want you to mark down for vitamin, uh, for the B vitamins, all of them from B to 12 uh, in halibut. Halibut, and I think I had down uh, 
uh, red uh, fish or cod, codfish. Uh, those kind of fishes have uh, a lot of uh, B vitamins in it, especially the halibut. It's kind of amazing. Uh, it also has uh, contains a lot of uh, nutrients that are important, like uh, that uh, you need just a little bit of it, but it has it has a uh, has it in its in its meat. So uh, so when you eat halibut, you're you're getting uh, a lot of good ingredients, especially especially the B vitamins. And I kind of suspect uh, it's in uh, duck. Mm -hmm. the flying uh, birds mm -hmm. and uh, cockles, uh, codfish, uh, and then uh, the uh, probably uh, salmon berries. I would, I would kind of think it would be in there, and maybe some of the more orange uh, kind of. Uh, uh, berries that we have we have we have so many berries uh, uh <clears throat> high bush cranberries people don't really go for that but it smells so good when you go in the woods mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um the high bush and then on the low bush uh they didn't call it cranberries but they called it uh uh, tin, I think it's what, what it was called. We used to pick those, and it it when you bite into it, it pops in your mouth like cranberries does. Mm -hmm. So I think some people here uh, gather it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> let's see what else do we have. Uh, it's possible that crab has, uh, and and uh, shellfish also had uh, B vitamins. <laughs> Another uh, vitamin, that was a quick overview. Oh, uh, don't forget to mark uh, liver and the dark meats for uh, B vitamins. It has everything. If you haven't marked the liver, it has A, D and E and K and uh, B vitamins. <coughs> uh, we will uh, go on to uh, vitamin C. Mm. Vitamin C is a water soluble uh, vitamin. In other words, you can destroy it with water. Uh, it leaches really quickly into water. We have to be careful to protect it. Uh, vitamin C, what it does in your body, the main job that it has is to protect you from infection. And... Uh, I used to put uh, vitamin C in my pocket, the chewable kind, when I had a sore throat or, or start to get something. It's better to uh, use it when you first start to feel not so good. Chew on it uh, or anything that has vitamin C um, because it's, it's really, really important. It's so important. One of the things it does that's kind of interesting is uh, <clears throat> if you had surgery or mm -hmm. a huge scar of some kind uh, mm -hmm. and uh, people, the doctors, they look into it, it's full of vitamin C, mm -hmm. your scar, mm -hmm. uh, because it has to protect that uh, because it is an opening to your body. 
So uh, it's constantly working on that. Uh, it, uh, vitamin C works uh, uh, in protecting your heart, uh, protecting your mouth. Uh, there used to be sailors that would uh, not get vitamins, vitamin C being at, at sea for so so long that they would get what is called scurvy and their teeth would fall out. Uh, and get, I guess it was really, really severe until they found out that they needed to uh, be on board with a whole bunch of lemons mm -hmm. so, so they could get that particular vitamin as they went along. Uh, and it's hard to save it because like I said, it can be destroyed easily with oxygen and with water. So uh, the special protection that you have from that is uh, very easily lost and destroyed. Uh, if you have vitamins handy that you, you take and you hear me talking about how it fights infection, uh, if you do take uh, a blood thinner uh, prescription from your doctor, better have a discussion about it in regards to ingesting a lot of vitamin C pills. Uh, I would suggest that because uh, I think vitamin C uh, tends to rob the uh, doesn't like it when your blood is thin. So it protects your blood cells, it protects your scars, but particularly it protects your eyes and your mouth. Uh, and it's, it's a real uh, protector for uh, your heart to keep things going and clean and uh, working right. And um, so uh, this is uh, important for us because uh, it's interesting that uh, foods with vitamin C is made more available in the winter. Uh, grapefruit, uh, app, uh, oranges, lemons, all those uh, foods like that that contain a lot of uh, vitamin C that you need uh, during the winter. Uh, ingesting uh, any foods that have this is a lot better than taking the pills. Uh, I remember in class one time, the girl said, uh, I don't like vegetables, so if I just take the vitamin A, is that gonna be okay? And uh, the instructor said, yeah, that's it's probably okay, but uh, we still don't know everything that's in carrots or any of these vegetables that works together to make your body uh, healthy. So uh, supplements are, are nice uh, if you can't get any other source like the vit we talked about the vitamin D3 that you need for uh, absorbing calcium comes from the sun. And in Alaska, that's kind of hard on us. If the sun is out, it's still too, too cold to show your skin. Uh, so uh, remember that uh, one of the important sources for that works in your body is uh, it it does help with your uh, with your uh, heart and keeps your score uh, scars uh, clean and uh, so that your body doesn't get invaded through through the uh, scars that you have. Um, <clears throat> One of the things that I like to talk about is uh, when we used to just go in the woods and pick berries and my mom um, would <clears throat> give us these 
that worked to pick the berries and uh, she taught me how to uh, pick each berry by hand when I just learned how to kick, pick a lot of them. But they, uh, the uh, stores uh, sell these gadgets where you can scoop up the berries as a scoop, but then you get everything else. You get berries, you get leaves, you get twigs. And also uh, there is a, a method, like if you hold the, the branch over the bucket and uh, you can hit, hit the top of the branches with a stick and all the berries and everything else, the bugs and the twigs and the leaves and everything will be in there. Uh, so then, uh, then this is taken home thinking, okay, it's pretty easy. You just add water and you scoop up the things that float and clean the berries. Uh, after you take the berries out of the water, then you throw out the water. So just be aware that in the amount of time that it took you to clean, the vitamin C probably leached into the water. So you're dumping out a lot of vitamin C. So uh, you need to kind of give up those gadgets that you helps you to get a lot of berries at a time. So just take it your time and pick them clean. There's a, hardly any leaves when we finish clean, uh, uh, picking the berries. So uh, so be careful about just splashy water and cleaning up and throwing that out. So uh, when you cook, the berries, any of them up to a bee jam, you probably lost all the water soluble vitamins, but the vitamins A and, and those uh, fat soluble ones are, are probably still in there to make jam or something. I'm trying to uh, go through uh, these as I, as I can. Um, I think, uh, oh, uh, the other thing that vitamin C does is to uh, uh, to help you uh, if you have cancer. I think it's one of the helper uh, kind of uh, things that it does. It doesn't uh, cure, but it, it, uh, it is important to have so, uh, just keep all these uh, short little things that I'm telling you in mind uh, because um, it seems like every uh, nutrient that is in there, and like I said, they haven't studied every single thing that it does yet. So um, uh, just... Uh, if you have to make a substitution because of living in Alaska for with supplements, then uh, do it according to uh, to the instructions. So I uh, keep me advised on the time. I want to go to uh, mm -hmm. proteins. Okay. And, it's, uh, uh, uh -huh. it's twelve thirty-seven. Okay, yeah. uh, protein is kind of interesting because the advertisements you hear is buy this protein and you can, uh, you know, it'll do this and that and everything. The actual truth about uh, protein is only your body can make protein. They can't make it for you. Uh, so, uh, what are they talking about? Uh, the, the things that you eat that are like uh, meat and, and the kind of foods that we talked about, all of them, 
uh, has uh, has protein ability. There's uh, called amino acids, and there are so many different kinds. But they have identified um, twelve, what they call twelve essential uh, amino acids. And uh, the way I think about it is, uh, I don't know, really don't know how the body works on it. But uh, if it's like a comb with a handle and the teeth sticking down, are they? Uh, amino acids, you have to have 12 of them. There's all kinds of different amino acids in your body, but your body works on collecting because of repair and the work that it constantly does. Like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, that your body replaces uh, your taste buds every two weeks completely. So that's not only the only thing it does. So it's constantly working. So you need that. And it collects these 12 uh, essential amino acids to make protein. So sometimes what happens is you will ingest something that doesn't have all 12 amino acids. Um, so the body's trying to collect the uh, amino acid. It has a pile of them. Only one is missing and your body can't uh, go forward and try to make something out of it. Uh, it's, it's not going to wait around and say, oh, uh, let's wait and see if this person will eat the right thing. What they do is okay, it's not here, so let's pack it up. So they uh, they store it right where you don't want it. It becomes fat. They're not going to throw out 11 amino acids because you didn't have the right ones. Uh, it'll keep it in storage in the fat. So... Uh, if you're one of those people that likes to stand at the counter and uh, eat peanut butter out of the jar, peanut butter lacks the one uh, amino acid that you need. So you're, all you're getting is fat. And uh, that's why we say, okay, if you're going to eat peanut butter, put it on a cracker or on bread. That completes it. Uh, I think it's the same story with uh, kidney beans. I love ki kidney beans. My mom used to cook up a pot and leave it on the stove so we can uh, have uh, whenever we want. But if you don't have bread or crackers or a little bit of meat in there, uh, all you're getting is fat. So no wonder it was so good. <laughs> uh, all the different kinds of beans uh, will have the same same qualities. Um, so uh, make sure that if you do beans, make sure there's meat or uh, have some kind of dinner rolls with it or something uh, so that it, it will be complete uh, because uh, your body con constantly continuously works uh, to maintain uh, everything when when you look at the uh, pictures that we looked at at the beginning with the men uh, I pointed out that they had really good hair and good skin, uh, no sores in the eyes and no sores in the mouth or nose, uh, straight limbs, they were tall. Uh, it was uh, 
not because they planned their diet, but just because we we just ate right. We just had so much, so much food, and uh, you did. Uh, my mom used to say, if "Somebody fixes food for you, just go ahead and eat it, even though it's something you don't really care for." Uh, so th that rule applied to to uh, my parents cooking. We just sat down and ate, and it was always really good. Everything they they offered. Uh, so it was. Uh, Imp uh, we did all the important things. So protein or, uh, that our bodies make is um, is very important for growth. Uh, it protects your, uh, maintains your body uh, and protects uh, your heart. And it seems like there's many things that uh, kind of work together to uh, do things that are are uh, concerned about your heart, so um, it, it's something that we probably uh, need to pay attention to to make sure that we get a good variety. If you don't, if you don't have uh, eat only native foods, then. Uh, uh, make sure you you get a good variety of of food because it's a it's really a, 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 a I'm just kind of astounded to realize how much work your body is doing while you're sleeping and while you're eating while you're working while you're um, all these uh, things that uh, it just keeps working and trying to maintain everything to to help you. All the other amino acids I never really studied uh, because they had all all different jobs of little things that had to be done. Uh, but the twelve essential ones uh, was really important in regards to making protein, and protein is important for your your muscles and. Uh, so all the things that we we mentioned, uh, and I I don't think we really lack like vitamin A. We don't really lack uh, the uh, twelve essential vitamins. Uh, I mean the twelve essential amino acids uh, to make the right. Uh, because we just didn't have that much fat. And probably that uh, tells everybody that all the hard work we have to do to put up the food for the winter. So uh, that's uh, protein. And uh, somebody says, um, buy my, my bottle of pills. Uh, it's good protein. Uh, your body makes protein. I don't know exactly how they can they can put it in a bottle. So, um, okay, protein. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, calcium. And calcium uh, comes from mostly from milk. Uh, in today's world, and um, I think we all know that calcium is important for the bones. Um, in uh, in the early days, uh, before the white man came, uh, the only milk that we had uh, was mother's milk. So after the child is weaned, uh, if the mother is careful, it be, it should be about two or three years old uh, before they uh, give up milk. From then on, is uh, 
it's pretty rough going for getting calcium. And um, when I, I was giving a talk one time like this, a lady raised her hand and she said, why didn't you just milk the goats that are the uh, mountain goats? <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of hard to try to chase down a mountain goat every morning to get milk. My, my dad slid off the uh, mountainside trying to chase a goat. So you can't, you can't uh, get milk from them. We never thought of it. But when you look at the way we used to cook, uh, calcium uh, uh, is, uh, is important for our bones. So it's also important for everything else for for the uh, the fish that we eat the uh, the meat and different things uh, uh, for building building bones and I think uh, the uh, the way that we absorb it, Nowadays, it's true milk. My one of my sons, uh, I don't think will have any trouble with his getting his calcium because he really uh, kind of overdoes with with the milk. And that's kind of common today. Is uh, the source of milk is uh, is everywhere. You you get it at school. You get it uh, when you go out. You get it in ice cream. You get it. Uh, just everywhere, so uh, it's it's fairly easy. But uh, the interesting thing I found out about calcium is if uh, there's not too many sources to get it from, uh, your body's real, real careful to grab on to uh, any calcium, and it. it uh, it will when it will get it from the the foods that you eat. And uh, one time I was I was talking to a butcher at the, at the store, and he was advertising what was on sale. And he said, "Hot roast, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's really good. No bones or anything. Just." Nice, good meat, you know, and everybody was rushing over. And so I, I stood by him and I said, I like the bones, I told him. Yeah, he said, that's good stuff. And I said, uh, you're selling everything boneless. And he said, yeah, we do. Uh, what happens to all the bones? He smiled and said, the dogs get it. So they make money by robbing us of the uh, calcium in the meats and they're uh, feeding it to the dogs. Uh, and uh, the thing that kind of uh, strikes fear in, my, in me is uh, that we're beginning to copy that. Uh, the deer meat, uh, you cut away all the meats and uh, can it and freeze it or whatever, and uh, and the bones are not used. Uh, the salmon that we eat, the backbone is cut out and thrown away. It used to be my mom would just put it in the chowder for the salmon. Uh, also, another uh, good source of calcium is in the fish head soup. So if you don't eat fish heads, and you don't eat backbones, you don't eat deer bones, uh, you don't eat seal bones, uh, you don't, all of those. The, um, what my, my mom used, my parents used to do is take the long bones of deer. And I think the, the Athabascans do the, uh, do the same with uh, moose. To take the long bones, cut it up, 
Of course, with the moose, you have to use a saw, but uh, with the deer bones, my dad used to just use a hatchet to break it up and then cook it, cook, 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 cook it for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we used to take the bones and uh, chew on whatever meat is left on there. And uh, so the calcium uh, leaches into the food. Mm -hmm. So uh, in uh, again, referring to the picture, uh, you can see the men uh, have uh, nice straight legs. They were tall. Uh, they tend to uh, look at us as being more tall than other natives, uh, the way they're built and uh, the way uh, that we uh, look. The Haidas and the Simshans and, and the Clinkets, I think, are are quite tall because of the way that we cooked our food uh, to include all the bones. Um, when, when we got a large uh, halibut, not the gigantic ones, but the kind of large one, uh, my parents would cut the meat off and, and we and we would dry that if we had to. Uh, then my, my dad would take the the uh, backbone and uh, just put it in a smokehouse and smoke the backbone. Then uh, my mom would uh, cut up the backbone and cook it. So after it's cooked, you can lift out the bones and you have all the oh, you have only the meat, and it is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're getting all that uh, calcium. Um, calcium, <clears throat> calcium works uh, with your muscles uh, to keep them healthy. Uh, you need it. Uh, sometimes we think of of the fact that calcium is needed for. Uh, the bones and have good straight and strong bones, but it also helps with, of course, the heart. <coughs> and uh, it uh, it helps when your muscles contract. And uh, it's, it's needed for that. Also, uh, we talked about a little bit with vitamin K to have uh, to have the um, calcium to help with the blood clotting. So that's important uh, for any surgery or uh, whatever uh, uh, cuts you might have to. The uh, calcium helps to work to make your blood clot easily. Mm -hmm. and, uh, right away so that it that that you you don't lose a lot of blood quick uh, time check shaksani kik we're at uh three minutes till okay it protects your heart too and also uh helps to fight cancer and iron uh we have you have the seal if you eat seal meat you're you're getting a lot of iron Seals have to dive for about 20 minutes. Their lungs aren't that big. So what they do is they store uh, they store the iron in their body. And that's what makes the meat so black. And it's in the fat. And it's in all parts of, of the body. Uh, iron also is important uh, for your blood so that it can carry the oxygen to keep it healthy. Uh, and iron is uh, found uh, in abundance in uh, bone marrow. And I just used to just love that. Everybody I talked to and have eaten it 
it's really happy because some people use it as butter. Mm -hmm. uh, I never did get that much. I I was so busy eating it <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. when I got it. Um, and uh, it's it's uh, it appears in in a lot of the food, especially liver. So you can for liver, you can mark down all the B vitamins and uh, B12, um, vitamin C even is in liver and uh, calcium and iron, a lot of iron, especially, uh, probably not so much calcium in, in liver, but a, really a lot of iron in the, in the liver. So when you look at your list, an overabundance of nutrients are found in liver. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like liver, you better learn to eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't think I, I really covered uh, all of it, but uh, I tried to give you the highlights of, of each one of those that was important. There are a lot more nutrients involved in taking care of you, but I just touched on the main main ones, and I mean just touched on it. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can save it, and uh, we can go over it uh, uh, next week. Mm. I know there'll be a question about octopus. I don't know. Mm what ingredients are in there. And and maybe I can find out, but we can talk about uh, uh, sea cucumber and some of those that I haven't had experience with. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was so good. I know that I have questions. I noted them and I'll ask on Tuesday. And uh, today was packed full of information. So for sharing all she has about nutrients, how to keep our bodies and our children healthy, um, even tips on harvesting. So we'll see you all again on Tuesday uh, here on the same Zoom link at 12 p.m. Thank you.